So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here and today in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a permanently mounted microscope slide of fungal spores. So the grey things that you see in here, these are the spores of a fungus, I've grown them inside this petri dish. Um, yeah, it's probably not healthy <laughs> to inhale them. Uh, where did I get the fungus from? Well, these, that's the fungus that was growing on a citrus fruit, like for example on, on lemons and then oranges. Um, it's actually uh, one of those fungi that uh, causes a significant damage uh, to those fruits um, and what I've done is, is I made a basically um, uh, a filter paper I cut out the filter paper I added a little bit of, of orange juice and then, then I transferred some of the fungus uh, onto the filter paper and after a couple of days it's really started to grow very intensively and then it started to form uh, those spores here made a separate video um, on, on uh, yeah on when I did that um, what I'm going to do now however is, is I would like to transfer some of those spores over um, on a microscope slide and I'm going to use this mounting medium here it's Elmer's PVA I'm not gonna talk more about that because I made already separate videos um, about that um, and I'm going to first add a small drop um, of this uh, glue um, on here on in the center of the microscope slide and uh, then um, yeah maybe that's enough. Um, I'm going to pick up a couple of these spores and mix it well with the, um, with the mounting medium, <coughs> with the glue, right? So maybe we take something from here um, and we hope that there is something on here. As a matter of fact, yes, there is. You see it's kind of dark gray, green, right? And we can simply mix it in here um, and this uh, will also break apart any clusters and now that there is some glue already on here, it might be actually much easier to pick up uh, more of these spores. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, and uh, you don't need a lot. Uh, um, so you see, there's still plenty of glue on here. So let's carefully roll it in here to pick up more. So here we go. I think uh, that is definitely more than enough. So, of course, uh, I want to immediately close the lid again. This goes into the trash yeah. and a cover glass uh, goes on top and then you will allow capillary action to do the rest. You see how the glue starts to spread. We just ignore those air bubbles in here. Um, and then we just uh, wait a few days for it to dry. Um, however, I'm going to put it under the microscope right away. Just please always be careful that if there's glue coming out here on the side of the cover glass, that this glue does not touch uh, the objectives of your microscope. So I'll be working with reasonably low magnifications um, and uh, we should be still able to see the spores. I'm now using my 40 times uh, objective and those tiny, yeah, almost transparent little oval structures. These are the spores uh, of uh, the fungus. Yeah, you see the contrast is not very high. Um, you, some, some of them might still be together in, in, in clusters. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, is uh, yeah, so these here, for example, are may probably still in clusters. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a look at this uh, under phase contrast. Maybe we're able to see them a little bit better. Ah, yes, indeed here. Um, also 40 times objective, but now in phase contrast and uh, here uh, it does look a little bit uh, a little bit better, at least a little bit easier to see them. Um, I'm not going to go up with the magnification yet further. Uh, the next higher magnification would be the 60 times objective, but you see the distance between the cover glass and the objective, the so-called the working distance, is already so small that I'm already worried that I might be uh, touching maybe the glue, which might have appeared um, out of the side of the cover glass so I'm not going to do that now well actually it did uh, change my mind I checked uh, there is no glue on the side of the cover glass so this here is not bright field I'm using the 60 times objective let's uh, try to have a look at this uh, under DIC yeah the background is uh, yeah, now a little bit more blue we are able to see it in slightly better contrast not much of a difference though yeah but I think uh, what I have to do is I have to stain those spores to make them better visible also on the bright field uh, but that is something that I'm going to do in in, in another video for me, from me that's uh, all I want to share with you today I want to wish you all the best happy microbe hunting as always and see you around in the next video bye bye